uh, Technoblast. Uh, today we're going to go over on how to set up your Kronos Max uh, adapter uh, on using the Xbox controller with the PS4 uh, system. Uh, I prefer the Xbox controller. I never liked the, the PS, any PS uh, PlayStation systems um, controller. And I've, you know, I've always had a hard time finding a good controller that matched the quality of the Xbox controller to work with the PS4 or any uh, PlayStation system. Well, finally, I, you know, I, I went ahead and purchased uh, the Kronos Max uh, adapter and it, it works perfectly the way I want it. So let's go over the application. So here I am assuming that you've already set up um, the hub and connected your, uh, your PS4 controller to the hub. So, you know, it kind of tricks the system to, to think that you are truly using a PS4 controller. So when you open up the application, this is what you get. And it seems a little overwhelming just because, you know, you, you don't know how to use it. That's the way I felt when I first got it. Uh, the first thing to get once you uh, install this, uh, this software is go to plugins and then Max uh, Mapper. And this gives you more of a, a GUI uh, interface to, to map what you want. So right now I'm going to use an example as Xbox One controller to the PS4. And the biggest thing for me is trying to get this touchpad to work with the the view button or the left the left black button on the, on the Xbox controller. So all you have to do is for the share button here and go ahead and just blank it out because we're not going to use it at all. Blank it out. And in here, instead of uh, any of these, use the view. So anytime you press the view button on the Xbox controller, it activates the the, the touchpad. Uh, it simulates the touchpad uh, button. So once that's set, everything else stays the same. All the other are pretty much mapped identical um, to the Xbox controller. It's just getting get rid of the share button and um, remapping the touchpad. So now you're ready to generate your profile. So we'll go ahead and just generate. Hit this button up here, generate. And this is this is pretty much the code that what it does. If you had a bunch of different mappings, then you'll have a lot more coding here um, to, to remap those buttons. But since we're only doing one, this is all you get. Uh, so we want to go ahead and save it, and then save it somewhere that you'll find it easy. And for me, I'll just I'll just put it here and leave it at the default name. So now we're done with that part. So now we go to programmer the programmer tab and we get this four pane window and this uh, this left this left side um, one two three four nine profiles and what you do is on this bottom right corner box go ahead and scroll down to the location of the the profile you just created and for me it was the desktop so I'm just gonna go to my profile and then uh, desktop and here it is right here this remapper the one we just created or the one I just created so all you do is click and drag it to one of the presets that you want and you can have up to nine th presets so depending on the game you use you can remap any button you want the way you want it for a particular game and then uh, you have all these presets that you can choose from when you're ready to use your, your controller with the adapter and so as you can see I already have a, a profile for my Xbox 360 to the PS4, uh, Xbox One controller to the PS4, and this sample one which is the same as number two uh, just for the recording sake. And so when you have your preset set up all you're going to do is hit this program device button at the bottom right corner and it's saying okay you're going you're gonna to upload three profiles to the adapter and you're going to click OK. And all it does is reboot the, the Kronos Max adapter and pushes those changes that um, that uh, I, I added. And when that's finished, you're you're pretty much done. This this is you're complete now. So yeah, I have three profiles. Like again, I'll just run through it again. I use an Xbox 360 with my PS4, so I always use number one. And all it is is just that that touchpad mapped to the back button on the 360 controller and the same thing for the Xbox One controller uh, but using that other new button called view or whatever it's called uh, uh, number two and then 
number profile number three is pretty much identical to profile number two, but I'm just doing it for for example here on the, for the video. And so, and that's it. So once you got when this portion is done, you take your your adapter, hook it up straight to the PS4, and then all the other setups after that with the with the hub that you require to trick the system that you're using a um, a, a DS4 controller, and then hook up the the Xbox controller to the hub itself also and you're good to go so that is it so this is how you use the application so I'll, I'll say this again when you first get this please download this max mapper it you can you can get it here under plugin manager or I think there's a drop down already existing here once once you install this Kronos Pro um, application it makes things much easier um, and that's it. So if you have any questions whatsoever about this application, uh, I'll try to answer it. So just you know, drop a comment in the in the comment section, and then I'll try to answer whatever questions you may have. Thank you for watching. Bye.